YouTube. I'm back again today for another unboxing video. And today I have a special unboxing inception video where I'm going to unbox the box that holds another game inside of the box. This is I Want My MTV. I don't know what it is. It's from Big Potato Games. They always have cool packagings they send to the reviewers, which I got to say, I got to give them a shout out. That's why I'm doing this right now. They are the only company that does this. Them and Bananagrams who might be under the same. I don't know exactly how that works. I don't know who they're related to. But boom, we're going to parlay like it's 1989. This box might look like a ghetto blaster, but it really is a time machine. Get ready to take a trip back to the golden years of MTV. You don't have to be a music genius to play this game. Just remember a few tunes from the good old days. P.S. The MTV Music Game is now on sale at Target, Walmart, and Amazon. Ooh. Age is 14 plus. Four players like the box. A little bit dented, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. I really don't care. It's got a cool button to press. I like it. I'm marking up the box that annoyed somebody. I'm sorry. I'm actually not sorry, but I'm saying I'm sorry. Oh, open that one side. Open this. Oh, my pen! No, this pen means a lot to me. This is from the Omni Hotel and Resorts. This is the nicest hotel I've ever got to stay at as part of the Gen Con Bonanza. And now the pen is gone and my memories are gone. Perhaps I should get some sort of professional tool like the un other unboxers do. They, they have these big fancy things they whiz out to cut. And I'm like, here, I'm going to stab this pen. All right, checking it out. Get it open. Ugh, don't tell me there's ones on the side. No, there's not. Ugh, God, just the this box. Look at this. Look at this shape, baby. I win, MTV game. All right, cool. Let's check out what we got. Cool. Like the board. Visually appealing. Best of Unplugged. Teenage Angst. Pop Anthems. Okay. Looks cool. Sticker. Love the sticker. I really do. Don't ever lose the sticker. What do we got here? What is this? This is unusual. Battery? Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Does this come with batteries? No, gonna have to put the batteries in there, but let's see what it does. And other than that, small box. Not a fan of the box size, to be honest with you. I know they do it for the appeal. You know, it looks better when it's in a bigger box, but let's check it out. Maybe it's to, to hold everything as well. So, object, to be the first team to collect at least one artist card from all eight music categories. I'm wondering, this is kind of trivial pursuit-ish, maybe? The Brits, award-winning videos, Best of Unplugged, Pop Anthems. Oh, all those things we saw at the bottom right down here. Form two teams and place the buzzer, artist cards, head-to-head -head cards, and game board in the middle of the table, like that. The buzzer round, both players sit as opposite each other and place the buzzer in the middle on the table. Flip over a head-to-head -head card to reveal a song category. Let's dance, baby. Let's do it right now. And we'll also feel the card component quality. All right. Perfectly serviceable. Not bad. Not bad. It doesn't need to be anything special. It's not anything special, but it's nice enough. Like, I don't feel... Like, it doesn't have the wiggle. I'm not, I'm not worried about this getting bent. Look at this. Good. Solid. I like it. Okay. So, anywho, back to the directions. As soon as one of the players thinks of a song that answers the card, they shout it out and hit the buzzer, setting off the timer. Okay. So, time. Song containing the word time. Time. Hootie and the Blowfish. The other player now has 15 seconds to think of a new song that fits the category. As soon as they have one, they shout it out and press the buzzer, resetting the timer. The other player is now back in the hot seat. Oh! Okay, back and forth and back and forth. Players keep yelling out songs and turn until one of them can't think of a correct answer and then they run out of time. Ooh, I'm going to guess they had so much success with their blockbuster party game. Someone was like, hey, you know what other, what else people like? They like movies. I've heard they also like music. So I feel like that's maybe the gist here that we're going to. So I guess you would have to think uh, of a, a, a song that fits a specific category with that specific Okay, okay, very, very cool back and forth music trivia. I like it. Looking after the buzzer to keep your buzzer happy and healthy. You need to treat it right. Use quality batteries, screw it shut tightly, and make sure you don't get overexcited and hit it too hard. Don't tell me how to live my life, Big Potato. Okay, very cool. I'm excited. I like the blockbuster party game an awful like. And to be quite frank with you, Big Potato Games, I'm going to put it like this. Nobody thinks about it, but they have one of the best track records, in my personal opinion, of any company that makes board games. Every single time I get a Big Potato Games, I know it's not going to suck. 
Like, I just know it. Sometimes I'll get it and someone will be like, ew, this is dicey. Maybe this will suck. This right here, Guildmaster, it might suck. Honestly, it probably will suck. They already sent me an FAQ saying, hey, we messed up the rules. But them, I know it's going to be good. So my excitement level right now is a solid... This is a hard one to put a number on. Because I know with my personal gaming group, this game is going to be something that's not going to get to the table too often. So I'm going to go with, I want my MTV excitement rating of still an 8 Point seven. I'm excited to play it. I know I'm going to enjoy the game. I know it's going to be a little bit too light for my gaming crowd, but I know it's going to be quality. And I'm also, you know, if we're really digging down into the weeds, I'm excited to make a video for this game because I know it's potentially, oh, ink, stupid ink, <laughs> is going to be potentially a mass market hit, which means, hey, it could drive more eyes to Bowers Game Corner, which once again ups my excitement level. So yeah, I'm going to go with a solid 8.7. I want my MTV. I'm excited to play it because Big Potato Games rocks and because it's going to be a popular game. And more importantly, because you know what? I'm going to bump it up to a 9 because I'm a huge music aficionado. And Big Potato Games, you watch this. Go buy the rights to this game and fix it. Give them an app. It's called Hitster. It's going to be on Kickstarter. It's good. It could be absolutely spectacular with someone like you on board. But hey, that's not the point of this video. I don't know what the point of this video is. Let's get it out of here. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. And in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite genre of music. For me personally, it's very difficult. I love 80s music. I love hard rock music. I love country music. I love alternative music. I like rap music an awful lot. But I don't love rap music. So that one's out of the equation. I'm going to go with, ooh, it's really hard between 80s pop and alternative rock. Oh, man. Put a gun to my head. Do it right now. Put a gun to my head. Pick one. 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 Eighties. Okay. I feel comfortable saying eighties. I think I just had a major breakthrough in my life. I love alternative rock music. I love current rock music. I love. I love radio rock. Radio rock gets a really bad reputation from rock fans, but I love it. I mean, hell, I think it's great. But I'm going to go with 80s. I just I just love the 80s catalog. I love the carefree nature of so much of it. It's all about partying and dancing and going out and doing coke and having a good time. Something that I think, you know, all of us really want to do more. <laughs> Maybe minus the coke. But there we go. I want my MTV. But let me know in the comments below what's your favorite. Oh, man. This went off the rails. But, hey, it's an unboxing video. you got to do something different, right? Like, oh, let's, let's check out the cars. Kellis. Lady Gaga, Kelly Clarkson. Oh, wow, there's some good variety. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Maybe you do. Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube.